Question 70.14. Questioner, oh yes. Sorry about that. It slipped my mind. Now, if a positive entity is displaced to negative time space I understand that the higher self is reluctant to enter the negative time space. For some reason it makes it necessary for the mind, body, spirit complex to incarnate in negative space time. Why is it necessary for this incarnation in negative space time? Answer, I am Ra. Firstly, let us remove the concept of reluctance from the equation and then secondly address your query more to the point. Each time space is an analog of a particular sort or vibration of space time. When a negative time space is entered by an entity the next experience will be that of the appropriate space time. This is normally done by the form making body of a mind, body, spirit complex which places the entity in the proper time space for incarnation. Question 70.15 Questioner, I think that to clear up this point I will ask a few questions that are related that will possibly help me to understand this better because I am really confused about this and I think it is a very important point in understanding the creation and the creator in general, you might say. If a wanderer of 4th, 5th or 6th density dies from this 3rd density state in which we presently find ourselves, does he then find himself in the 3rd density time space after death? Answer, I am Ra. This will depend upon the plan which has been approved by the Council of Nine. Some wanderers offer themselves for but one incarnation while others offer themselves for varying lengths of your time up to and including the last two cycles of 25,000 years. If the agreed upon mission is completed the wanderer's mind, body, spirit complex will go to the home vibration. Question 70.16 Questioner, have there been any wanderers on this planet for the past 50,000 years now? Answer, I am Ra. There have been a few. There have been many more which chose to join this last cycle of 25,000 years and many, many more which have come for harvest. Question 70.17 Questioner, now here is the point of my confusion. If, after physical death, a wanderer would return to his home planet why cannot the same entity be extracted from negative time space to the home planet rather than incarnating in negative space time? Answer, I am Ra. As we stated, the position in negative time space, of which we previously were speaking, is that position which is pre-incarnative. After the death of the physical complex in yellow ray activation the mind, body, spirit complex moves to a far different portion of time space in which the indigo body will allow much healing and review to take place before any movement is made towards another incarnative experience. I perceive a basic miscalculation upon your part in that time space is no more homogeneous than space time. It is as complex and complete a system of illusions, dances, and pattern as is space-time and has a structured a system of what you may call natural laws. Question 70.18 Questioner, I'll ask this question to inform me a little about what you just stated. When you came to this planet in craft 18,000 and 11,000 years ago, these craft have been called Bellcraft and were photographed by George Adamski. If I am correct these craft looked somewhat like a bell, they had portholes around them in the upper portions, and they had three hemispheres at 120 degrees apart underneath. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 70.19 Questioner, were these constructed in time space or in space time? Answer, I am Ra. We ask your persistent patience, for our answer must be complex. A construct of thought was formed in time-space. This portion of time-space is that which approaches the speed of light. In time-space, at this approach, the conditions are such that time becomes infinite and mass ceases so that one which is able to skim the, shall we say, boundary strength of this time-space is able to become placed where it will. When we were where we wished to be we then clothed the construct of light with that which would appear as the crystal bell. This was formed through the boundary into space-time. Thus there were two constructs, the time-space or immaterial construct, and the space-time or materialized construct. Question 70.20 Questioner, was there a reason for the particular shape that you chose, in particular a reason for the three hemispheres on the bottom? Answer, I am Ra. 
It seemed an aesthetically pleasing form and one well suited to those limited uses which we must needs make of your space-time motivating requirements. Question 70.21 Questioner, was there a principle of motivation contained within the three hemispheres on the bottom or were they just aesthetic or were they landing gear? Answer, I am Ra. These were aesthetic and part of a system of propulsion. These hemispheres were not landing gear. Question 70.22 Questioner, I am sorry to ask such stupid questions but I am trying to determine something about space-time, time-space, and this very difficult area of the mechanism of evolution. I think it is central to the understanding of our evolution. However, I am not sure of this and I may be wasting my time. Could Ra comment on whether I am wasting my time in this particular investigation or whether it would be fruitful? Answer, I am Ra. Since the concepts of space-time, or physics, and time-space, or metaphysics, are mechanical they are not central to the spiritual evolution of the mind-body-spirit complex. The study of love and light is far more productive in its motion towards unity in those entities pondering such concepts. However, this material is, shall we say, of some small interest and is harmless. Question 70.23 Questioner, I was asking these questions primarily to understand or to build a base for an attempt to get a little bit of enlightenment on the way that time space and space time are related to the evolution of the mind, body, spirit complex so that I could better understand the techniques of evolution. For instance, you stated that potential difference may be released and polarity changed after an entity has learned taught the lessons of love of self. If the entity is a positive entity that has found itself in negative time space and has had to incarnate into negative space time. What I was trying to do was build a base for an attempt to get a slight understanding of what you meant by this statement that potential difference may be released and polarity changed after the above step. I am very interested in knowing, if placed in a negative time space, why it is necessary to incarnate in negative space time and learn each love of self and develop, I guess, a sixth density level of polarity before you can release that potential difference. Could you speak on that subject? Answer, I am Ra. This will be the last full query of this working. The entity which incarnates into negative space-time will not find it possible to maintain any significant positive polarity as negativity, when pure, is a type of gravity well, shall we say, pulling all into it. Thus the entity, while remembering its learned and preferred polarity, must needs make use of the catalyst given and recapitulate the lessons of service to self in order to build up enough polarity in order to cause the potential to occur for a reversal. There is much in this line of questioning which is somewhat muddled. May we, at this point allow the questioner to repraise the question or to turn the direction of query more towards that which is the heart of its concern. Question 70.24 Questioner, I will, at the next session, then attempt to turn more toward the heart. I was attempting in this session to get at a point that I thought was central to the evolution of spirit but I seem to have gone awry. It is sometimes very, very difficult for me to question wisely in these areas. I will just ask if there is anything that we can do to enhance the contact or to make the instrument more comfortable? Answer, I am Ra. You are most conscientious and the alignments are especially good. We thank you, my friends, and have been glad to speak with you. We are attempting to be of the greatest aid to you by taking care not to deplete this instrument. Thus although a reserve remains we will attempt from this working onward to keep this reserve, for this instrument has arranged its subconscious to accept this configuration. I am Ra. You are all doing well, my friends. We leave you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing and glorying in the power and in the peace of the one infinite creator. Adonai.